I am pleased to welcome Bill Haberlin, who is the CEO for Ionomer, to the program. Bill, it's great to be with you. Thanks for a few minutes. Yeah, good morning, and uh, thank you for having us. Let's talk about Ionomer, uh, your company, what you do, and specifically what's driving your growth uh, and your interest in Rochester. Well, let's start with Ionomer. Ionomer is a four-year-old company. We're BIN-based, headquarters here in Vancouver, British Columbia. We are developing a advanced functionalized ion exchange material to revolutionize and enable hydrogen to take its rightful place as a 25% of the future energy sources of the world by 2050. We are looking at Rochester for expansion based upon the uh, long history in electrochemistry and chemistry, as well as the emerging hydrogen activity uh, for the likes of people like Plug and uh, Power and Hyzon that are uh, located in the area, but goes back historically 20, 25 years when General Motors and Delphi first started doing uh, hydrogen fuel cell uh, development activity in Greater Rochester. Certainly heady stuff you're dealing with. Let's talk specifically about the challenge that you are solving with your products and services through Ionomer. Well, what has to happen in this energy revolution is you have to be able to produce hydrogen at scale, at cost. And our target is to drive to below a dollar per kg of production of hydrogen. And that is enabled by our advanced materials, which unlock the lowest possible electrolysis platform to produce hydrogen, which is a activity that uses electricity and water and splits uh, that into its component parts. Um, so that is the key challenge. Our materials provide more efficient production of hydrogen as well as a lower cost production of uh, green hydrogen. Probably could have looked at a lot of different places to expand. Uh, beyond our history with some of these green initiatives, what else was attractive about our area to you? Well, lots of things. Number one, you have a strong university and technical base in uh, Rochester, which is key to driving our future. Quality of life for our employees is critical for uh, the growth of our company, as well as close proximity to other major geographic graphic hubs, airports, uh, and ports that are critical for import export of our materials long term. Do you have a timeline for your expansion in Rochester? We have, uh, we'll have the facility open by midsummer, and I believe we'll have 10 to 12 employees by the end of calendar year 2022. Our goal is to ramp that up to say 50 employees over the uh, next uh, 20 to 24 months. And then we'll look at a further expansion as our materials ramp into mass production in 25, 26 timeframe. As you look to hire, uh, what type of positions will you be looking to fill? We'll be looking for people from scientists, chemical uh, chemists, electrochemists. We'll be looking for technologists. We need people that understand the inner workings of systems like fuel cells and electrolyzers. So it's going to be a broad stroke across the spectrum of people that we're going to need to grow and scale the company. Well, excited to hear about it. We think you've come to the right area. Uh, continued success. We're looking forward to your expansion here. We look forward to it also, and we thank you for the welcome and uh, looking forward to having our uh, grand opening in a couple of months. We'll be there, and we'll look forward to it as well. Bill, thank you. Lots more online about Ionomer and career opportunities. Ionomer.com is the link. We'll share that on our site as well at rochesterfirst.com.